I have an idea. Hey, is the mic on? Oh. <laughs> Sick. Why are you looking at memes? Because I was Twan looking for some dank memes to put as my what's it called? See that? Fantasy League. What the fuck is he doing? He sucks. What'd you get on your test? Uh, which one? Calc? Yeah, no, Kim. Kim 77. Okay, guys, he passed. He came back. He's on the channel still. I fucking lived. I got a 77.5. What'd you get on, uh, Calculus, David? 84. I thought you said you get a 90. I was hoping for a 90. Well, he's still on the channel. Well, I, I, I got a 76 way. on my first one, so you beat me. <laughs> Port yourself. I did, but let's get started. Port. Hey guys, this is still pretty stock, and as you can see, I'm back. <laughs> Anyways, today we're coming at you with a brand new video, guys, talking about zero to sixty times. Yeah, so the big debate that um, this video is going to cover is, are 0 to 60 times relevant anymore? Are they important at all? Like, like when you look at the statute of a card, does 0 to 60 really make any difference? Right, should you really take it into consideration? Because there are so many cars nowadays to where they have similar uh, 0 to 60 times where you're like, I don't even know if that's important, right David? Yeah man, it's like, uh, like the example I tried to give last time when we tried to make this video and we failed miserably. <laughs> Uh, the Bugatti Veyron, I mean, we all know that car. Everybody's been, you know, it's the fastest street speed legal or street legal car. Yeah, it's been around for like Earth. a decade now. It's I pretty mean, impressive. Most people should know about it by now. If you don't, I don't know where you've been for the past couple of years. Right. But that car's, um, what's called 0 to 60 is about 2.1 seconds, man. So that's like, it's, it's fast. Yeah, it's impressive. That's a crazy freaking fast time for a 0 to 60. But then we got the Tesla Model S, and everybody has to know about that by now. So much controversy. Cars blowing up, nobody knows what's going on. But that thing also has in the ludicrous mode one, that one's at 2.6 seconds also, same as the Veyron. So right. Like, you can't really compare the two. Yeah, those two cars aren't on the same level. Yeah, it's completely different, and it's just one of those things where it's like, what matters most to the vehicle? I guess it's a matter of circumstance. Yeah, you definitely got to look at it. Uh, am I thinking objectively or subjectively? I think it's subjective. Yeah, sub it's subjective. You got to look at it as far as like what the car is meant to do. You're not right. trying to, you know, if you're looking at a Bugatti, you're like, that 0 to 60 is 2.6 seconds, but you're not thinking about that. You're thinking about top speed, that 260 mile, whatever it is. That's what you're thinking about with that. When you look at the Tesla, you're not like, oh, this is a top speed car. Yeah, it's a cool, badass electric car, but with that car, it's more about like the initial acceleration. And they're just, they're two cars that really don't compare. And in my opinion, a lot of the 0 to 60 stuff, at least with like fanboys who get butthurt about it, it's just a giant pissing contest anyways. So I feel like you really shouldn't pay that much attention to it yeah and I mean the 0 to 60 time doesn't make a great car um, and a lot of times especially in like the performance world 0 to 60 time isn't that important anymore because a lot of things are focused on track readiness so when you look at like a GTR obviously it doesn't have a better 0 to 60 time than a Veyron actually it's about the same it still is yeah if you get the track pack it's about the same 0 to 60 time so I mean oh well that's yeah, still pretty they're, intensive they're still <laughs> totally different cars <laughs> damn one's a track car and one's a top speed yeah I got pork there but what I'm saying is <laughs> when you put a Veyron and a GTR on a track no question about it the GTR is gonna have a better track time yeah exactly because the Veyron's just it's not set up for that what the Veyron's set up to do is to go in a straight line and like try and hit that top speed as fast as possible that's what the Veyron's about and if you're trying to compare the performance of a GTR to a Veyron it's just it's a not fair and also that's why you shouldn't just compare for other cars and just throw it around as a stat that you think you should use yeah and like coming back more down to earth like there are plenty of great cars with awful 0 to 60 times everyone loves BRZs FRS whatever you call it awful speed on like straight out of the box it is a very slow car but it's just fun. Same thing with Miata's. Very slow car. It's very fun. Yeah, exactly. With those cars, what it's about, you know, it's the weight distribution, the handling, you know, just how they do around the corner and how fun they are. Those cars, you get into them. You're not into them because they're super quick. You get them because they're they're agile and they're nimble. Yeah. You're not trying to, you know, uh, launch them hard off the line. Obviously, it can be done with turbo kits, uh, superchargers, and whatever. But when you pull one out of the box, you're not trying to go super fast and when you're just trying to have fun in it. Yeah. So. Yeah, definitely. So I just think it's ridiculous that people, I feel like the people that do use it to compare cars are people who are kind of uninformed, honestly. Yeah. I, I agree on that point. I mean, if you're really uninformed about the vehicle you're driving, and that, that would definitely be something you'd be using to Yeah, to throw it out. Because like, yeah. let's say like a fanboy who doesn't know anything, he's like, oh, well, this Tesla's just as fast as a Bugatti. <laughs> 
it's, that's like, <laughs> it's like, well, most people are going to make fun of you then and there, and they probably won't take you seriously anymore. That's something that's like, yeah, no. Yeah. One thing I will say is that zero to six times can be used when you're comparing cars that are in like the same class. Yeah, so I mean, if you're taking like a Hellcat and... What, what would, what would well, you compare see, to the it, Hellcat's like? weird because like it's got a lot of power, but it's a lot, a lot heavier. What I was thinking was Camaro SS and Mustang GT. Yeah, see, I think that's what I was going for, and I went Dodge and fucked up. Yeah, the, <laughs> the Dodge is weird because of its weight and all. It's that. It's kind of weird. But like those are two cars that I think those are good cars where you can compare their zero to six times because um, they have similar horsepower and they're in the same segment and they have more or less the same consumers and that's when you're really cutting the thread the the hairs you know and comparing which car is better so that's when you can bring in the zero to six ten to right. you know make an evaluation if you're looking at it from a point of view where you're not being biased to either car and you're just trying to decide which one's better right so i mean in the long run i just think zero to sixty doesn't matter as much as it used to yeah, it's, it's mean, big in journalism, but I don't think in the big picture it's that big of a deal. Yeah, it's an industry yeah. standard, but it's just a pretty number. Right, yeah, that's all it is at the end of the day. So, I mean, it is what it is. People are going to keep on comparing it, honestly, because there's a lot of people that are just uninformed, and they're not too sure as to what they need to it's, look at when they're evaluating the car. I really think that they kind of throw the 0-60 to 60 into car specs now, mainly for kind of like a selling point. I mean, you're, whenever you go to a dealership, you're probably, the one thing they're going to tell you is like, oh yeah, the 0-60 to 60 on this thing is like 7 seconds. And then people who are not informed about Vic are going to really care about yeah, it. Yeah, they're so like, much. oh, 7 seconds, that's seven. that's quite a number right there. Right. Yeah, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, I mean, that's just our two cents on it. Uh, make sure you let us know what you guys think about it down in the comments. And uh, I think that'll do it for this one. Yeah. yeah. So, oh. <laughs> so don't forget to uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. See you around.